Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk to you a little about OpenAI, its new chat GPT feature, which has been in the press a lot recently. And a lot of the students in your schools probably know about it. It is a artificial intelligence program that takes information from all over and can chat and compose papers and essays and answer questions in in a format that sounds very scholarly sounds like what something like a student may write and it has the potential because of the fact that it is original of slipping through plagiarism checks and all of that. I think we will see in the future a lot of talk about how this impacts education, how it's going to impact how we as educators check for information. But right now I want you to see what it is, how it works, and then I wanna show you one possible detector that seems to work some on how to check to see if what you're getting from a student is from an AI or not. So first, let's look at OpenAI. You get to it by going to openai.com slash blog says chat GPT. Then you go down to try it. And then you will hit login. I've already logged in. You make a pat you can use Google and or, or anything else to log in. It will tell you when you open it up that you know, remember that this might have some issues with it. It might mess up a little bit, but it has a few disclaimers on it. But basically, we know that we that, that what it can do. So it may occasionally generate incorrect information, may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content, limited knowledge of worlds and events after 2021. So because it has, it was trained to look at information prior. So let's ask a question that you might see in a U.S. history class. Uh, write a five paragraph essay on Manifest Destiny and its impact on America. This might be a question that you give your students to do. This would take hours for them to write. Watch here. The, as you can see, the chat box is thinking, it's thinking through, it's searching through all of its information. And here we go. And it's done. What did that take? A minute, maybe a minute and a half. And it wrote a five paragraph essay. Now these facts are correct. Everything here is, it did happen. There is nothing factually incorrect here. And it is original thought. So because of that, if you were to put this essay through Turnitin, through Google, plagiarism tool, it is not going to pick it up. It is because nobody else has written something like this. 
so how do we deal with something like this? Well, there is a good article called, and I will link to it in the bottom of this video, called Talking About How to Detect OpenAI's Output. Um, and it talks about examples of how to do that. And there is a good tool from Hugging Face called the GPT-2 Output Detector that can maybe help to do this. I put all the information in the chat box, but this is a great article, which I highly recommend you reading. So this is what the output detector looks like here. You enter the text from the chat into this. If I put it through here and I hit copy and then I hit paste, the hope is that it shows that based on some of the information they have gotten, that it is fake. It is not real. Now, if I were to put this same article through Google, it would come up as being reliable. So I highly recommend that starting now, you start to use the Hugging Face GPT output detector when looking at answers to questions or essays that you are getting from your students because they do know about this software. You see how easy it is. And it is going, the kids are going to start to use it. So once again, the name of it is called the huggingface.co open AI detector. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to talk to you about it.